Hi all, I'm um, making another video on a sale on my Mac Mini that I purchased a couple of weeks back. I've set it up uh, in my uh, entertainment cabinet below the TV, so it's serving it, uh, as my HTPC. And I'm going to quickly show you what I've done to uh, make this a uh, fully fledged uh, HTPC capable of displaying full HD uh, display and also of uh, 5.1 surround sound. Uh, first of all, the trickiest bit uh, is the, to get 5.1 surround sound out of your Mac Mini. Uh, one thing you need to do is you need to put an optical cable down there to the 3.5mm jack and to do that is the, you get this set of cables it's an optical toslink cable so one end goes to your um, sound receiver and the other one goes to the Mac Mini but you need an adapter, the cable that I bought came with this 3.5mm uh, adapter so what you need to do is you plug it in there like so okay and this end goes into the the, uh, the three and a half millimeter millimeter jack sorry so just like that like that so look at from from the side okay all right and the second thing you need to do is the um the video itself as mentioned before uh, it this unit comes standard with the mini DVI to DVI port um, so you can plug it in there okay and my TV doesn't have um, DVI port so it's only HDMI for digital video so one thing, I, uh, one thing I actually bought is this cable here so a DVI to HDMI so this DVI just connect like so Okay, like this, and this one goes to the um, t Okay, now I have uh, powered up my Mac Mini and can I hook it up to my TV? And as you can see here, when you bring up this sound uh, settings from the system preference menu down there, um, on the output tab, you'll have a digital out um, selected automatically. The next thing you need to check is you from the finder on the top right hand corner of the screen you uh, go to audio MIDI setup and if I go to it then on the output you should see um, the format there in the channel you should leave, leave them be and the only things you need to change um, I'll show you you should go to the system preferences and you should install this software called uh, Perian or Perian, P R I A N. Uh, as soon as you install it, uh, it'll appear as one of the icons on the system preferences window, and this is where you actually set up the surround sound mode. Okay, so this is what you need to set. Um, audio output, you should set it to multi channel output, and yeah, that's about it. And that Perian um, hook up to your uh, QuickTime player. So as soon as you um, um, you play your m movie uh, using QuickTime, uh, QuickTime should automatically uh, pass that digital output um, through Perian through to your um, stereo system. Sorry, the 5.1 system. So now I'm gonna pl I'm playing the uh, a full HD copy of a video, um, an AVI file through QuickTime. And you can see here this sound output to the my Logitech Z5500 uh, 100D uh, unit uh, is received as a Dolby movie mode um, that came through the optical output from my uh, Mac Mini. Uh, keep in mind that if you use other media players, it'll still um, decode it as um, a stereo sound somehow. I haven't been able to figure it out. I think whatever comes through the um, the sound uh, card from Mac Mini is always treated as stereo, it's just that through Perian it doesn't uh, decode that way, it just let um, pass through whatever digital output it has to your sound on the 5.1 system and let it decode it, that, that way you get the five full 5.1 surround sound. Okay, um, so that's about it, hope it helps some people out there, uh, do post questions if you have any and thank you.